Hey guys, and welcome back to the weekly Lake of the Woods and More Fishing Report. Every Thursday, we bring you a fishing report from Upper Red Lake, Lake Vermilion, Devil's Lake, the Missouri River, and Lake of the Woods. If the fishing report helps you out, please hit that thumbs up on YouTube. That helps our video circulate and get a few more views. Speaking of views, this week we had some pictures sent in to us by Al. He was pike fishing down in the Aiken area, caught some really nice northern pike. He said the water is pretty high down that way as well. If you want to send a picture to us, just email it to us at after5outdoors at gmail.com. We'd be happy to put you on next week's fishing report. Now, all across the lakes that we cover on the fishing report, higher water is still an issue. A lot of the resorts and guides on the fishing report are dealing with some higher water this year. So just keep that in mind if you're heading out to any of these lakes. And if you do use any of these guides or resorts, please let them know that you saw them here on After 5 Outdoors. Now, let's get to the fishing report. All right, let's start out the fishing report this week. Let's go out to Lake Vermilion, out to Everett Bay Lodge. I talked to Daryl. He said fishing has basically been fantastic out there. Walleyes are being caught on a lot of traditional methods right now, jigs and minnows, jigs and plastics. He says the water temps are getting into the mid 50s and he anticipates them to rise a little bit more with this warmer weather that we have coming. Daryl said he believes that the walleye spawn basically is at the end right now and he's anticipating that these walleyes are gonna start moving out a little bit. So adjust your tactics a little bit if you're heading out to Vermilion this weekend. Now, Daryl says as far as the smallmouth bass bite out there on Vermilion right now, look for these smallmouth still on their beds, probably for a couple more weeks. As the water warms up, they're gonna be moving out as well. If you're going out there to look for northern pike, shallower, warmer bays. He said they've also been seeing some muskies in those locations as well. Now your weather for Lake Vermilion this week looks pretty good to be in the 70s. Your winds look to be about 5 to 15, but there are some mixed rain chances in there as well. Hopefully we can avoid that rain. We need this water to start going down. If you're wanting to take a vacation out in Tower, Minnesota, out in the Lake Vermilion area, make sure you get in touch with Everett Bay Lodge. Now moving over to Washkish, Minnesota, Upper Red Lake, West Wind Resort. Said fishing has still been pretty decent this past week. Guys are really looking for walleyes in about six to seven feet of water. They've been targeting them with gold jigs and minnows, either a fathead or a shiner. And also West Wind said there are some crappies starting to show up in the fish pails as well. So that's a good thing. Now the water levels are, are up quite a bit still on Red Lake. So getting around is not an issue. If you're wanting to get out on Upper Red Lake, West Wind has bait and tackle, bar and grill, boat rentals, campgrounds. They can accommodate you for all your fishing needs out on Upper Red Lake. If you want to get out that way, get in touch with West Wind Resort. All right, moving over into Western North Dakota, out by Bismarck on the Missouri River, talked to Mike Peluso this past week. He said water clarity has really, really dramatically gotten better. He said, and with that, the walleye bite has gotten dramatically better as well. Now, when the water was really dirty out there on the Missouri River, flicker shads, jointed flicker shads was the way to go. Mike says that's really changed now with the water clarity much, much better. He said walleyes have been smashing jigs and minnows, jigs and plastics. He says the water temps are still a little bit cooler out there, 48 to 52 degrees. But he said the biggest key right now, that water clarity is better. The bite is really, really smoking out there right now on the Missouri River. Now Mike's guiding time is just about done on the Missouri River. He's going to head over to Devil's Lake till about mid-June. And then after that, he's going to head over to Lake Sakakawea till about mid-July. Then after that, he'll be splitting his time between Devil's Lake and Lake Sakakawea. If you're wanting to get out on a guided trip, you've got a few days left on the Missouri River. If you're looking at Devil's Lake or Lake Sakakawea, make sure you get in touch with Mike Peluso's Outdoors. All right, the report from out in Devil's Lake this week from Bry's Guide Service and Ed's Bar and Bait. Walleye bite is dramatically getting better. Water temps are getting up into the mid-50s back in them shallow bays. Mark says when that water temp gets in the mid-50s and above, that really, really dramatically increases the walleye bite. Now, if you're looking to target walleyes, probably you want to start in two to eight feet. Look for shorelines, also around bridges. Calmer water around bridges is key. Now you can target these shorelines or these bridges, jigs and plastics, jig and a minnow, cast them in there. You can try some vertical jigging. Slip bobber and a leech works really well. And you can also try some smaller crankbaits. Now, when you're looking for shorelines, a good tip, if you've got a little bit of wind blowing in those shorelines, that's where you want to be. Now, if those walleyes are really fussy, if they're really finicky, a slip bobber and a leech is your go-to. Now, if you're fishing them shorelines or around those bridges and you stop catching fish, Mark says make small moves. Those fish will move around and you gotta try to move around with them to stay on top of them. 
Mark says if you're coming out to Devil's Lake to target pike and white bass, shorelines with rocks. And also don't forget about those warmer back bays. He says if you really get on the white bass, it can be every cast. And the average size of pike right now is in that three to five pound range. Mark says if you're throwing plastics right now, your best plastics are the slider, the mimic minnow, and the walleye assassin. Mark says if you're more of a crankbait fisherman, number five shad wrap, number seven flicker shad, and a number seven countdown have been the things to throw. Now it looks like it's going to be about 80 degrees on Friday. Winds are going to be about 15 miles an hour, but by Sunday going to be back down into the 60s. Some rain chances possible this weekend. Winds look like they're going to be around 15 miles an hour about all weekend. Now if you're heading out to Devil's Lake, you need some bait and tackle, Ed's Bar and Bait's a good place to stop. If you're looking for a guide out on Devil's Lake, get in touch with Mark Bry's Guide Service. All right, before we get to the Lake of the Woods fishing report, I did a little research on the Lake of the Wood Control Board website. That's what manages the water levels on Lake of the Woods. The max recorded level is 106.4.5. Now the current level is 106.2.2, so they're getting pretty close to that highest recorded mark. Now they predict that the water level is going to rise another four to five inches over the next seven days. Now when we're talking about boat access on Lake of the Woods, most of the ramps in those access are underwater. So you really need to be careful when you're launching your boat. Some of them may be closed, so you want to check ahead, but you're definitely going to want to bring some water boots with you. Now let's get to the fishing report on Lake of the Woods, starting out in the Warroad area. Talk to Aaron from True North Guide Service. Aaron said this past week he's had some days that were really good and a couple days that were a little bit slower. Now we had a cold front that moved through. Surprisingly, the day after, Aaron said the fishing was really, really good. They, had, they were limited out by noon. Those water temps on Lake of the Woods are still in the 40s in the Warroad area. Aaron says targeting walleyes, you're going to want to use jigs and minnows, either just slow trolling, back trolling. You can still cast them. He's working 14 to 17 feet of water, and that's what's been working best for him. Now the fishing pressure over on the west side of the lake is dramatically less than it has been on the east side. So if you got some sweet spots, your competition is going to be a lot less. True North Guide Service does guide trips basically anywhere you want to go on Lake of the Woods. If you're looking to make a trip this summer, get in touch with Aaron from True North Guide Service. All right, on the other end of Lake of the Woods, out of Baudette, talked to Lake Road Lodge this week. They said fishing this past week has been pretty decent. They've been targeting 10 to 15 feet of water. A gold jig and a shiner has been working the best. They're finding water temps 47 to 50 degrees. He says you definitely want to try find that warmer water. Marshall wanted me to remind you with the higher water, if you're going down the Rainy River, please go slow when you're going around the docks. A lot of them are underwater or close to it. A big wake can cause a lot of damage on those docks. So please go slow if you're going on the Rainy River. Marshall has some midweek availability. He's got some specials also. If you call the lodge, you mention the After Five Outdoors fishing report, you're gonna get a discount. Lake Road Lodge runs a charter service. They have motels, guided fishing trips, fish cleaning shacks, all that stuff. If you're looking to get up out of Baudette on Lake of the Woods, make sure you get in touch with Lake Road Lodge. All right, moving up to the north end of Lake of the Woods, up to Young's Bay Resort. Talked to Richard this past week. He said, if you're coming up to the angle, make sure you bring water boots. Young's Bay is the main access to Lake of the Woods and the islands up in that area. He says he's had to put docks on top of docks. The water is still coming up when they, they're forecasting another four to five inches. So gonna make things a little bit tougher. When you're up there, use caution, just take it slow. Now, as far as fishing up at the angle, Richard said, overall, it's been pretty good. If you're looking for walleyes, make sure you target shoreline lines work offshore lines a little bit looking for that transition point from harder bottom to soft also structure that sticks out from shoreline like points or small little rock piles or reefs that are close to shoreline can be lights out as well jigs and minnows crankbaits have been the bait of choice if you're going on the canadian side remember no live bait allowed across the border so you're going to need to stick with plastics Young's Bay had some guests come in with some really nice giant crappies this past week. So they're around too, don't forget about those. Young's Bay just had a cancellation of a cabin that can sleep up to six, and that's gonna be open for the next 10 days if you wanna jump on that. Otherwise, they've got some limited availability in the next couple months, some one and two night stays. Remember, if you're coming up by land, if you're driving through the port, can't bring any poultry unless it's cooked, that's a, a Canadian restriction. But if you're looking to get up to the Northwest Angle on Lake of the Woods, get in touch with Young's Bay Resort. 
The weather on Lake of the Woods this weekend, Friday looks like we could hit 80 degrees. We haven't done that since like, like August or September of last year. It's been pretty cool. The rest of the weekend looks to be in the 70s, but we're gonna be dealing with a five to 15 mile an hour winds the way it looks. But Saturday and Sunday, there are some rain chances. Let's keep our fingers crossed and try to keep that rain away. We need this water to go down. Hopefully our weather is gonna straighten out. We're gonna get into summer here soon. We'll get some water temps to rise a little bit. We'll dry up and, and be able to enjoy summer. I appreciate you checking out the fishing report. Remember, if you want to send a photo in after five outdoors at gmail.com. Remember, all the guides and resorts information is linked in the description of this video. You just go to the link, click on it, find the phone number, give them a call. Make sure you let them know you saw them here on After Five Outdoors. Hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors, and we will see you on the next one.